Hello everybody. Hi, hi. Uh, I've been asked a lot uh, about curse reversals and uh, methods to reverse curses and I uh, get a lot of emails. I always try to respond even if I'm busy and sometimes as you already have noticed that I accumulate all the questions and then I make a video because I think that these questions that you ask me are very clever questions and many people wonder in, uh, about the same things that you ask so you are actually contributing <laughs> to my videos and thank you for your questions so today I'm going to demonstrate how to remove a curse and then I have a few questions which I received and I will answer them. So, uh, this spell, during this spell, we summon Lucifer and we summon Sabnok to reverse the curse. And you see, if you work with Sabnok regularly, you will become psychic. You, it will show you who has sent you a curse and you will know this. He will wake you up in the middle of the night and show you who has sent you malice. And then the next day it's time to do a aura cleansing ritual. And um, for the spell you will need a lemma which you will use in the end of the ritual you will need a fresh egg from a hen it does not matter which color of the hen black white or uh, brown but it must be a fresh egg fresh egg you can uh, do like this and you can determine if the egg is fresh, it's moving there. You will need a bowl of water, does not have to be special water, like spring water, ordinary water from the kitchen tap or from the bathroom tap, ordinary water. And what else I want to say, who is Sabnok? I work with Stabnok a lot. He is a demon from Goyeshia and he has become my main patron, my bodyguard and my advisor. So where did I have this description of Stabnok? Somewhere I had it here. Here. He is the 43rd demon of Goyeshia and he is a Marquise uh, and he appears in the form of an armed soldier but he appeared to me in the form of a large cat with, uh, with pale fur and his duties are such to build towers, castles and cities in the astral space and to furnish them with weapons. Also, when somebody attacks you, because Sabnok has built up these towers and barriers in the astral, the one who is attacking will become ill at once. Also, he can afflict men for many days with wounds and with sores rotten and full of warm, worms. It is known that Sabnok is the demon of um, decay and putrefaction. So I work with this demon a lot and I love him. Um, so 
you should do this ritual inside a ritual circle. Uh, this is because while I do my ritual, I form blood bonds with Subnock and for example also with Lucifer. And it's a clever strategy to perform the lesser vanishing ritual of the pentagram when you are working with this demon Subnock. Because you will be forming a blood bond and you know this that when you summon a demon and if you have not performed the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram and if you have not cast a circle a protective circle all kinds of spirits can follow along with subnock and uh, i have heard cases of demonic possession from people who are my friends and who do this kind of magic with demons and uh, I understood then and the person who was possessed also understood then we realized how dangerous it is to summon um, demons without a ritual circle and without performing the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram and when you have or are done with the spell thank Samnok and let him go and then close your ritual circle and perform the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram again to clean the space uh, I have a razor with me inside my ritual circle because when I do my spell with Subnock, I cut myself here with the razor, squeeze out a little bit of blood and apply it to the seal of Subnock. Uh, so the spell is done during a Monday and during the astrological hour of the moon. This is because uh, Subnok comes from the sphere that is called Gamaliel on the Clifotic tree. This is both the Clifotic tree and the Sephirotic tree. So this ninth sphere is Gamaliel and it is ruled by the Demoness Lilith and Subnok comes from here. So I do this spell on a Monday and the best occasions to do this spell is as soon as you know that you have been cursed or during a full moon, during the whole vanning moon period and also during the dark of the moon. So what I did was I arranged a purple candle because the color of Gamaliel is purple and keep in mind that um, color is light and energy and it has a wavelength and a frequency. So this is important, the color that you have a purple seal of Subnog, try to obtain purple paper and a purple candle or a purple altar cloth or purple light. Um, yes, and jasmine oil um, because this is the scent of Gamaliel and it will be applied to the seal of Subnok, jasmine oil. And you will need a kitchen uh, knife, ordinary kitchen knife that is not sharp. I did like this. First I called upon Lucifer and then I uh, spoke 
three times, I woke and conjure you, my patron Sabnok. I am in need of your protection from a person who has done this and that. I ask you to return the curse that is placed upon me right back to the sender with full force. Uh, nobody likes when curses uh, come in, so I worded this spell uh, like with full force. And I also had arranged everything, the seal of Leraya, just in case. And I asked eliminate this troublemaker from my life experience immediately. And please protect me. So you can say this, this evocation three times while you look at the seal of Sabnok during two, three minutes. And then you have to undress, you have to take off your clothes. I'm not joking. Um, the egg is a little embryo and when, when you stand there inside your ritual circle and, and are naked and begin rolling the egg carefully all around your body, all around even the feet and the back and everywhere and if you are with a partner inside a circle, ask your partner to roll the egg on your back and everywhere where you can't reach. Do this rolling of the egg during 10 minutes. And in the end, the egg will observe, observe, what do you say, absorb all the um, evil curses and the malice from your aura and the embryo will die. So during the time you are rolling this egg, you say like this, with the aid of Sabnok, my defender, all curses depart now to the sender of all courses placed upon me, I am now clean and free. You can even chant this, um, this little poem while you roll this egg. What else did I do? Yes, here I had written, it's a copy of my spell. Uh, I applied my blood, I cut myself here with the razor, with such an ordinary razor that men use to shave themselves. You know those old shaving uh, apparatus that you could change the blade there. I purchased such blades and then I cut myself here gently, not deep or so, because uh, I'm very careful with the skin. So you cut yourself, squeeze out a little bit of blood and apply it to the seal of Sabnok. And uh, then you just break this egg into the bowl with the water like this. So now and let the egg stay in the water for 15 minutes and all these times when um, some malice was um, on me, sitting on me, when I looked at the egg it looked horrible. It was all covered in crevices bubbles and um, terrible threads like mushrooms it was all deformed try not to break the egg 
I mean the yolk. Try to have the yolk whole inside the water and look um, on the egg. Observe how the egg looks after some 15 minutes. If it's horrible, then you know that there was something on you. So this is a good method to send back, clean, lift up this curse and throw it back. And of course, Subnock will help you. And then I should have taken a napkin my hands. So, uh, you also apply jasmine oil to the seal of Subnock. And, uh, well, then you raise power and project it into the seal. Um, then it's time to finish the ritual. You thank Sabnok and uh, you tell him to go back to where he belongs. Keep the seal, the charged seal, with you somewhere perhaps the best places where you sleep because it is usually that the magical attacks will come during the night when you are sleeping people assume they calculate the time difference and they assume that you are sleeping but this guy will wake you up and show you what's going on there and then you can do the ritual next day. And it is very important to throw away this malicious egg. And you do it, you flush it into the toilet and cut the lemon into a half and squeeze out half of the lemon, the juice from the half of the lemon into the toilet where you have flushed the egg so that this all traces of malice are flushed away nicely from your apartment or from your house and also it's good to uh, Take a shower or a bath with lemon water. For example, take uh, one liter of water or two liters of water and squeeze out the juice from half a lemon. When to take this bath? Well, when, when you clean yourself, you can also follow up with a lemon bath to kind of flush down all the malice from your aura down into the sink. And then you dry yourself with a towel and well, you are done. You are free and you will, you don't have to wait for the curse to set itself so deep into your aura that uh, you go around with the curse five years and then you say oh what happened maybe I'm cursed because my life is not running so smooth you will know when you are cursed and also you can do a divination but it's not necessary you can do a divination so the questions I received are these do I have to cast a protective circle when I meditate or pray at my altar? I said no, you don't have to do it. But cast a protective circle when you do an evocation of any entity, even angels, archangels, spirits and demons, because you never know, you summon someone some other guy follows and if you don't have this boundary things may happen 
Okay, second, the second question is, can I and my girlfriend do spells inside the ritual circle together? Can we use the same altar and do a spell together? And I said, yes, you can do it. How, the third question is, how many spells can I do during one and the same ritual? I answered like this, two or three spells, but the theme of the spells must be related to the duties of the demon you have summoned. For example, if you have summoned Sabnok, then do a curse reversal that we have done now. For, do a protection spell. Follow up with a protection spell. You can create a witch's bottle with the seal of Sabnok or just a witch's bottle. This is the theme of curse reversal and protection. And Sabnok is suitable for all these spells. If you have summoned Lucifer only, and you can do it too, you can summon Lucifer instead of Sabnok and reverse the curse and send it back. Um, the spell will work wonders too. Um, do a protection spell. Do a curse reversal with the egg. Ask to be taught magic. Um, these are three spells. But at the next occasion you can do a money spell with Lucifer, for example. What else can you do? Do a self-empowerment spell. You can heal depressions. You can ask Lucifer to help you to heal your depressions. So Lucifer is suitable for these kinds of um, spells and he will help you. And well, I think that I have said everything. And thank you for watching. Bye bye. I see you next time.